Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Learn German from Hindi and English. And in today's video, we are going to see Wu Composita or we call them Wu Compounds also. I am sure you have seen these kinds of words somewhere when you are learning German. So, if you don't have any clue what are they, let's learn them in this video. Few examples of Wu Compounds are Womit, Wonach, wo for, wo ryuba, etc. The particle wo comes before the preposition. So these are some of the examples. As you can see on the right hand side, wo rof, wo ran. So basically this wo particle comes in front of the preposition wo plus auf. And in the middle, you can see an R here. So this R, I will tell you in the uh, in this video. So please watch the complete video. Let's learn this with the help of some examples. Number 1. Off plus warten. That means to wait. And off plus warten is always in accusative case. When we are learning Wu compounds, then it is very important to understand that whether we are talking about an object or, or we are talking about a person in the sentence. If we are talking about the object, then the question will be Wu plus preposition. Okay. So in this case, we have preposition of. So that's why our question will become Wu rof. Alright, and for the person, we will say of vein. Why we have used vein here? Because as you know, vein is the question in the accusative case. For example, if we are using the dative case, then the question will be vem. Yeah, v a und m vem. Here we are studying about the accusative case, and that's why we have used of vein okay so of vein is the question when we are speaking about the person let's understand this in deep number one of at was warten so friends when we say of at was warten at was means to wait for something yes at was means something to wait for something that means we are waiting for a we are waiting for an object. Okay. Here you can see the above I have written at was. That indicates that it is an object or a thing. Ding. Or Gegenstand. So thing and object we call it in English. Ding and Gegenstand are the words in German. Yeah, okay. So, Ding and Gegenstand, that these uh, four words only means an object, okay? So, for vocabulary purpose, you can uh, remember Ding and Gegenstand also. So, when we are talking about etwas, you know, when we are talking about something that's not a person, so how we will put up our question? Frage 1. Worauf wartest du? Worauf wartest du? The question will be, what are you waiting for? Okay. Worauf wartest du? What are you waiting for? Of means in English for. Okay. So the question is, what are you waiting for? Alright. The end word, the answer will be, Ich warte auf den Bus. Ich warte auf den Bus. Bus. So here, why we have changed der Bus to den Bus? You can see our article for Bus is der Bus. But here we have changed it to den Bus. This, den Bus. So these changes we will do according to our noun. Our noun here is der Bus. Okay. So this is a masculine noun. And as you can see on the right hand side, this orange chart is a 
uh, a chart for accu in accusative fall okay so there is bestimta article on bestimta article and the possessive articles or possessive pronoun also you can say them so here in masculine chart our dare will change to dain all right so that's why we have used here ish water of dain bus huh? i am waiting for the bus for is important because that is our preposition for okay so when we are talking about the object our questions will be wo rof all right now when we have to uh raise a question in which we are talking about a person then how we will see it how we will say it now we will see in this screen of ye manden warten of ye manden warten ye manden means somebody to wait for somebody previous example it was to wait for something yes in the word thing you can see but here of ye manden warten to wait for some body that means that shows that indicates that we are waiting for a person a living man a living person now the question will be of wen what is do yeah of wen what is do who are you waiting for who are you waiting for the answer will be ish what of meinen man ish what of meinen man again here you can see our article is der man but now it has changed to meinen man and why this happened because here we have used a possessive pronoun a possessive pronomen also you can see or possessive article okay in any way you can say, uh, say these words ish water of mine and man so here you have shown the possession that he is my husband okay my husband so my in german is mine yes so mine and but the ending why the ending have come as my nen man this we have to deco so again we have to see our uh, nomen der man okay one more thing i would like to tell you that uh, noun is also called as substantive yes sub stan s t a n t i v okay in german we call it as substantive or nomen noun substantive or nomen these are the words that we can use for noun so here in this case we are, our noun is der mann again this is a masculine noun so in this accusative case yes as the chart is the accusative case chart so we will directly go to the male column okay and here you can see that der man okay der man the article is den but in this case sorry in this case we have a possessive pronoun so you have to come this third row okay this is our pro, uh, possess, pro, possessive pronoun row so you can see this has changed to meinen the ending a n will always remain same also you can see in unbestimmter article the endings are always a n huh? den einen meinen okay so this is a personal pron possessive pronoun and it has changed to meinen ich warte auf meinen mann or you can say you can replace it with a personal pronomen a personal pronoun in this case we are using accusative that's why it will change to in okay you can see here of in in english it will get translated to 
I am waiting for my husband. My Nenman is my husband. Of in, I am waiting for him. So you have directly used a personal pronoun for your husband. Okay. I am waiting for my husband. Or you can see, you can say, I am waiting for him. All right. So these two way you can use for a person. So guys, I hope that now this slide me makes a more sense to you. Wo rof, we are going to use for an object, and of vein we are going to use for a person. In this case, bus is our object, and of vein, what is do? Here we have our man, minen man. Okay, so this is person and this is a object. Lift I have included. Just for an example, you can use any X Y Z object here. A ball. It could be a table. It could be a glass, mobile, computer, laptop. Anything. Yeah, any object you can place it here. Just for your uh, better understanding, I have included lift here. So don't get confused that why lift is here. All right. Now, as I have told you earlier that this is the wo particle. Then in the middle there is a r, and then comes our preposition. So this happens only for the when we are talking about object. So. It will be like this. The sequence will be like this. Wo plus R plus preposition. Okay. Wo rof wartest du? Ich warte auf den Bus. Yes. The answer will be den Bus. Of wen? We will use it for a person. Then comes first preposition plus wen. Auf wen wartest du? Ich warte auf meinen Mann oder Sie können das auch sagen. Ich warte auf ihn. Ja, klar. Machen wir das weiter. Now, what is the formula? Formula is whenever you are using a R between like worauf, then you have to look out for the Preposition first. So here, as you can see, of. So the first letter of of starts with a, yeah, or a in German. A. So this is a vowel. This is a vowel. Prepositions starting with vowels a, a, e, o, u, u, etc. So any preposition that starts with vowels, these six vowels, then we will include a R between wo and the preposition. In this case, this is wo rof. Yeah, R is in the middle. Then we have wo plus R plus aus. Again, we have a here. A wo ros, and then Wo plus R plus Uber. So here the first word is U. That is also a vowel. So wo rauf, wo raus, wo Uber. So why do we include this? The logic is clear. The formula is clear. You can say it uh, like this. If, for example, wo plus aus, yeah. Directly you have to uh, say wo plus aus without an r. So how you are uh, how you are going to say it? It will be like it sounds like woos, yes, wo aus or wo aus. Yes, it doesn't sound uh, better and also it is difficult to speak. And that's why maybe they have included a r may uh, to to sound it better. Yes, if you say if if you stretch r, so uh, it sounds better and it is also. Easy to say. Wo raus. 
worauf, ja, R worauf, woraus, worüber. All right. So that was the logic, or that was the uh, that was the answer why they have included R in between. Now come to the uh, right section, right column without R. So they are the preposition they are starting with consonants. Here you can see the underlined part F is a consonant. Apart from these six vowels, rest of the alphabets are your consonants. Yes. F, M, N, Z, X, Y, N, B, F, D. Yeah? These are your consonants. So here, wo fewer, F is consonant. That's why no R in between. And that means for what? Wo few, wo mit, M again is a consonant wo mit with what? And this wo mit is not as in the English wo mit. Yes. Don't mix it. That vomit is different. That means um, that has a different uh, word for um, in German grammar. So this vomit is with word. Then wo nach wo nach after what? Then again is a consonant. So this is uh, our formula. When to include R and when to skip R. I hope it is clear now. Now let's uh, understand one more by spiel. I uh, I'm hoping that it will, uh, you know, uh, help you to make it understand more. An plus sich erinnern, an plus sich erinnern, which means to remember, and that is also in accusative case. And this verb is a reflexive verb. Yeah, sich erinnern. All right. Okay, so here the question will be wo ran. Yes, because an is the preposition wo ran. And again, the first letter you can see, the first word uh, letter is a, which is a vowel. That's why we have included a r in between. Wo ran. And now we will talking about we will be talking about an object with this question wo ran. And if you are talking about a person then the question will be unveil okay so here un will come in front unveil preposition plus the accusative question is vain yeah now here we will talk about person so let's see the example of it was erinnern again it was erinnern to remember something okay? something now Frage 1. Woran erinnern Sie sich? Woran erinnern Sie sich? What do you remember? Yeah, woran. It will translate to what? Woran erinnern Sie sich? Ich erinnere mich an meine Kindheit. I remember my childhood. I remember about my childhood days. Yes? How good or my uh, was my childhood i don't have to study only eating and doing lots of fun with the family and friends yeah not uh, not to bother uh, much uh, bother about uh, uh, how to earn money is yes? so the childhood was the best thing in our uh, life so here he's saying ish erinnere mich an meine kindheit so in this case again we have used a possessive pronomen here mine all right but the ending has a a at the end yeah or e mine why it has come uh, like so that we will decode first we will understand that we will find out our noun so the noun is kind height all right so kind height is a feminine noun here i have in the top i have mentioned the kind height and mine kind height this has changed to mine kind height okay now uh, when we will um, find out that this is a feminine noun you have to go to the feminine column here so you have to 
use these options for feminine all right this is accusative fall this is a feminine noun and then we have used a possessive pronomen yeah then what will come mine yeah you can also see the ending like a feminine we use always d unbestimmte article is ein and possessive pronoun will become mine yeah at the end e will remain same to show that the noun that we have used is a feminine noun yes and mine kind height also the nouns that end with height or kite are always feminine noun that is also a formula all right so ich erinnere mich an meine kindheit i remember my childhood or i am remembering my childhood days now if we are talking about a person of ye manden erinnern to remember somebody here in this case we are remembering a specific person yes an wen erinnern sie sich who do you remember an wen erinnern sie sich who do you remember ich erinnere mich an alexander yes alexander is a person is a male person ish erinnere mich an alexander okay and now we can replace this also with personal pronoun as we did in the previous example so here we will say ish erinnere mich an ihn again because it is an accusative uh, case that's why we will use an ihn yeah this indicates also to an alexander an in and in english you first you see here in accusative in yes that means him i remember alexander or you can say ish i uh, i remember him okay so an in is him so when you are talking about person you can always replace them with personal pronouns okay so here uh, again uh, revision woran woran is indicating to the object in this case the kind height and an wen is referring to a person in this example that person is alexander so wo plus r plus an because a here this a is a is a vowel okay so that's why we have included a r in between and that's referring to an object wo plus r plus preposition so now the question again do a revision wo ran erinnern sie sich ich erinnere mich an the kindheit yes ich erinnere mich an die kindheit an wen erinnern sie sich preposition plus wen huh? an plus wen here we are talking about a person preposition plus wen an wen erinnern sie sich ich erinnere mich an alexander oder sie können das auch sagen ich erinnere mich an ihn i am remembering him or i remember him so guys i hope uh, you have understood the wu compounds or wu compositor in coming videos i will do some more uh, examples some more exercises so that uh, you can uh, um, you can understand uh, wu compounds better so if you have liked this video please like share and subscribe and uh, if you are a new uh, viewer then please don't forget to press the bell icon so that uh, you just uh, get my latest videos i will see you in the next video 
Till then, bye-bye and tschüss.